I'm sure you guys are all aware of the different ammo types that we have in GT Online. You know, we got the FMJ rounds, the hollow point rounds, the armor piercing rounds, fire bullets, tracer rounds. Wait, what was that last one? Tracer rounds? Yes, those do exist in GT Online. And the reason you don't see anyone using them is because there's just no point. In fact, they are downgraded from just regular ammunition. And it's a shame too, because they actually could be a really sick cosmetic customization to your Mark II weapons. First, I want to give a quick summary about what tracer rounds are used for in real life to help give you a better understanding and reasoning as to why they're so useless in GTA Online. So tracer rounds are usually loaded every fifth round in the magazine, which means every fifth bullet that comes out of your weapon will be a tracer, and they can be used to mark certain targets to fire on, and they're also often loaded into the end of the magazine to signify that a shooter is low on ammo and then you have to reload. In GTA Online, they work very similar to this, except every third bullet you fire will have a tracer effect. In addition to that, near the end of the mag, you will fire consecutive tracers, signifying that you are low on ammo and need to reload soon. And maybe these features would be really useful in a hardcore shooter game with a limited HUD, but this is GTA. The ammo count is displayed in the upper right corner, so I already know when I have to reload. And I don't need ammo or special ammunition to mark targets for anyone, because all the enemies appear on the minimap for me, so the main two uses of tracer rounds are just straight up useless. To make matters worse, the game states that the ammunition has a standard capacity, well, as a standard, my character can hold 9,999 assault rifle bullets at a time. So surely this means I can do the same with tracer rounds. But what is that? 330 rounds with a 30 round magazine. And I cannot buy this ammo through the interaction menu. I have to go all the way back to a gun bench to refill it when the small amount of ammo runs out. Not to mention it's also more expensive than regular ammunition. And it doesn't do any more damage or have any effect on the performance of the weapon. So why is it so limited? Literally everything about this ammo is a downgrade from even the standard ammunition, and for the only cosmetic perk of having half of the 30 round mag shoot tracer rounds. I mean seriously, it's lower capacity, you're forced to use a smaller magazine, you can't use an extended mag with it, the ammo costs more yet doesn't have a good performance benefit to it, and you cannot buy the ammo through the interaction menu, so you don't need to be the brightest lamp at the Home Depot to figure out why no one uses this ammo type. They spent all this time making it for no one just to ever use it at all. I haven't seen one person shoot me with this ammo, or one person even use it like on a mission. But it doesn't have to be this way. You see, on the PC version, you can go into the game files and easily change the tracer on ammo capacity to actual standard capacity, and then change the mag size to match the extended mags. So at this point, although the weapon doesn't do anything special, it's just like you're shooting normal ammunition with the cosmetic enhancement to the ammo. If you're wondering why I'm getting all worked up and upset about this, it's because it's just the small design choices like this that leave me wondering what the devs were thinking. They designed tracers to work as close to real life as possible because we all know GTA is definitely a realistic game at this point. Like, it just makes no sense to me. And the unfortunate part about this is that the tracer effect for the weapon is actually really unique, and I doubt anyone really even took the time to figure out what this even looked like, or even knows about this. So how it works is whatever the tint your weapon is, that's what color your tracer effect will be. So if I have a red tint on the weapon, my tracers will be red. If I have a blue tint, the tracer effect will be blue, and so on and so forth. And here's a quick showcase of what each of the tints look like when firing. Pretty cool, right? But overall, the cosmetic effect is still kind of underwhelming in my honest opinion. Another thing that you can do with PC mods though is trigger unlimited ammo so you never have to reload, and when you do that, the game acts as if every bullet you fire is nearing the end of the mag, so you get the tracer effect on every single bullet you fire, and this looks awesome. This is definitely something that I would drop tons of money on to customize my guns in GT Online. Normally I just keep my guns black in GT Online with no tint at all, but if I had the choice to customize them to look like this when they're shooting, that would be awesome. And these tints aren't cheap, a lot of them costing like upwards of $100,000 to $200,000. And we all know how much Rockstar take to love when we spend our money. Well this could be another incentive to want to spend money on tints and buy the tracer rounds. Because as it stands now, tracer rounds are just horrible, no one is buying them. And no one would ever want to even use them, even if they were free. 
But if they convert it into just an overall cosmetic weapon upgrade that left you with the same mag size as an extended mag and let you carry the normal amount of ammo like it says it should, along with making the tracer effect on every single bullet and not just every third shot, I think you'd see a lot more people spending their GTA money on them. Because then it's an actual upgrade to the look of the gun, while the other ammo types are more of a performance upgrade. And here is the final comparison of the standard tracer effect that we have now to the one that is upgraded to fire with every shot. Maybe Rockstar thinks that it would look too goofy if we were running around shooting pink or green bullets, but we literally have laser alien weapons, flying bikes that shoot missiles, and orbital satellites that can blow you up from outer space. So shooting different colored bullets out of your gun would be the least goofy out of those things in my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this idea in the comments. Would you purchase and use trace rounds if they worked like I showed in this video? If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. Maybe try sending this video to Rockstar via their feedback page to try to get this change implemented because realistically guys, in order to change the ammo capacity and the mag size of this ammo type, it took me like 5 minutes once I found the location of the right files. It's a very simple improvement. So what I've done is left some instructions to submit the feedback along with a paragraph that you guys can just copy and paste to make things easier, just to have a higher chance of them seeing it, and that'll be down in the description. But with all that said, thank you guys all for watching, and have a great day.